essentially, my research program aims to improve the health and the quality of life of individuals with chronic disease um, using technology. The patient portal provides access to information that patients right now, unfortunately, in our healthcare system, we don't have access to our health information, which we should. It's a basic need that we have is to keep track of what information did we get, what diseases do we have, what medications are we taking, and to be able to track the information just as well as our doctor or a nurse or physical therapist can. And so the patient portal is one of the first examples where patients actually have access to that information. But not only that, the information is tailored in a way that it's specific to that individual. So it's not just giving broad recommendations um, that are unactionable. It's actually taking that information and synthesizing it in a way to say, you know, good for you, you've walked a thousand steps over the past week, keep it up, and then can look at the next week, for example, and say it's gone down, it's gone up, and give really specific targeted messages to a person. And so in that sense, um, it's not just the information, but it's the synthesis of that information that's quite valuable. And I would say the third piece is that it's um, making sure that healthcare providers are looking in to see how the patient is doing and the patient feeling more empowered knowing that there's somebody on the other end to help them modify their behaviors, uh, which is not easy. Given that the number of individuals with chronic disease is continuing to increase, it helps us make sure that we still continue to meet that demand using information technology. We just have to figure out what's the best way to design it and how do we adapt it based on uh, different patient populations, which is what our, our research team is working on.